you all not only had to write up, in fact, rationalize the decision to do this and to show me or, or the you know arbiter for this class mm -hmm. its its value, um, which is not a hard task, right? Because mm -hmm. I was hoping that you would do this and yeah. I'm glad like that that, mm -hmm. that you are, are taking and running with it. But you would all you also had to um, you've had to translate this and sell it basically to mm -hmm. other uh, uh, audiences and participants yourselves. Um, and I think that's that's fascinating. Mm -hmm. um, again it's uh, like when you when it's out of your hands, uh, mm -hmm. what happens to it? Um, but but so you all have had to articulate and um, to a different disciplinary crowd, uh, mm -hmm. to different um, 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 constituents in the project, mm -hmm. um, what it is and why it's worth adopting as a as mm -hmm. a platform, um, um, without you know, well you know I'll, you just sort of. Run with run with that as well. So mm -hmm. I think what's interesting um, in terms of its development is that um, it has developed its own rationale mm -hmm. um, um, for different audiences beyond the kind of context of of building it for class. Right? It's no longer academic. You know, in other words, uh -huh. proof of concept. Um, it is operative mm -hmm. and. Um, well, it's, it was being you know read by other read and used by by other people. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really know how, um, and I'm mm -hmm. you know in, as interested was interested in your write up and interested in talking to you mm -hmm. to continue to hear about how does this translate into mm -hmm. this sort of field conversations and rhetoric and composition. Yeah, because um, those weren't the conversations that we were having. Mm -hmm. Those aren't the conversations that I'm used to at all, mm -hmm. um, and it is, um, I think, a wonderful project to really position itself at the intersection of digital humanities and rhetoric and composition, mm -hmm. which is increasingly, I think, being called for more more recognition or more scrutiny. Mm -hmm. like, what do we really mean? Um, when we say digital humanities is the token question, but I think it, what it, it also does is is um, help us think about is this uh, reinvigorating field conversations that already exist? Is it mm -hmm. facilitating conversations across and between fields? Yeah. Um, is it restructuring kind of expertise among multiple fields? Mm -hmm. um, uh, there have been complaints. Um, um, even in our class, you heard a student who had experience in library school saying, mm -hmm. "This is old news, right? What mm -hmm. are we? Why are we? Why is this new to anybody? Mm -hmm. Why are we still talking about this?" Um, I think projects like this also help with uh, resolving mm -hmm. um, um, what you might call the disciplinary memory. Mm -hmm. um, of different fields, programs mm -hmm. um, uh, that might be, you know, brought into focus by by a project or, yeah, or I think so. resolved I think by, so. if not resolved, at least um, conversations raised by uh, the digital. Particularly, I think, in useful for um, rhetoric and composition uh, to better stake its own claim and role within the digital humanities community, which um, I was just refreshing my memory. Um, I saw after the, uh, maybe it was, you will have to check my reference, but I'm going to guess it was the, oh I know what it was, it was the last year's issue of Profession, mm -hmm. um, the MLA publication where they devoted a section to the evalu evaluation of um, digital work for tenure and promotion, I believe, oh, yeah. um, and um, this was widely promoted and celebrated within the echo chamber of you know digital humanities and social media. Uh -huh. um, and then I saw um, Cheryl Ball um, yeah. uh, posted a very strong uh, complaint on her own blog that 
you know, why is this new, right? Like, why are we treating this as some amazing development mm -hmm. uh, when it overlooks 50 years of, of multimodal studies mm -hmm. in rhetoric and composition? And it was stunning to me. Um, um, not only the 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 energy of that of that complaint, but the but the uh, I think a sensational claim in some ways that mm -hmm. that there's 50 years. It's not just right. We're doing yeah. this already. It's the, that there is in fact <laughs> an incredible disciplinary memory um, that um, that has been forgotten or misrecognized um, in whatever constitutes itself as the digital humanity. So. Um, project like this, I think, can also play a, a really valuable institutional role in um, 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 exposing those mm -hmm. those different um, backgrounds and mm -hmm. disciplinary approaches and where they come into contact.